Hey, it's Sean with The Driver's Perspective, and this is going to be a quick video on how to clean your track wheels or keep your track wheels clean. I got my buddy Josh here. He's got a BRZ as well, and we both got the exact same set of wheels. Uh, they're 17 by 9 Koenig Decagrams in a semi-gloss black. So the real trick here is you need to pick up a wax or a PTFE sealant for paint. Uh, it can be for automotive paint because that's the exact same stuff used on your car wheels. If you get yourself some of this, it makes cleaning your wheels after a track day a lot easier because it has PTFE, which is Teflon, inside of this, and that bonds to the surface of the paint, and it just makes it slick like a nonstick cook pan. So, really simple process to do this, and it's best to do this when you have a brand new set of wheels before the tires are mounted. If you have tires mounted, it makes it a lot harder to get in the nooks and crannies, they're probably already dirty, and the surface is contaminated. And you don't want a contaminated surface when you put this stuff on because this actually bonds to the paint and if there's surface imperfections, it'll just make it worse and you'll never get them out. Um, so that's the first step is start with clean wheels. These are fresh out of the box so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, the second thing is you need a couple of microfiber rags. That makes it easy just to apply it and take it off. This whole process should take about an hour. Each wheel needs 15 minutes to cure and it needs to sit for 72 hours before it sees any water or dirt. Um, that can also contaminate the surface when this is bonding to the paint. So let's get started, I guess. Sounds good. Shake well, shake weight. I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> Please don't. Yep, 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 yep. So you doing all surfaces here? Yeah. The barrel and the back side and so on? Yeah, it's important to coat the inside of the wheel too because a bunch of dirt will accumulate there. Um, Is that okay for the weights? Yeah, it usually sticks. I haven't had an issue yet. If you have a track car and you're putting weights on, you should tape over the weights anyways. You should never just leave the weights to uh, their fate. They also say apply this lightly. I don't listen. I go for a heavy application. You're just going for it? Yeah, until it hazes over. That's pretty good. We also have the peanut gallery back there for the cat. Peanut. You guys want to say hi? Hello. Hi. Meow. Meow. <laughs> so Josh here has actually kind of already been on this channel because I've driven his car at a couple autocrosses. So if you've seen some of my older videos, you've probably seen Josh's car. It's a hyper blue BRZ with a crack, not a crack, it's a Jackson Racing Supercharger now. Yep, yep. With a flex fuel kit and all sorts of goodies. You said that was back before it was supercharged. Yeah, I did. It was, it was a long time ago that I drove it and actually videoed it. Yeah, and Josh actually has some suspension on his car that was the prototype for the coilovers that I have. So they're double adjustable ASTs, which are what the white line coilovers are based on. Another thing you want to make sure when you're doing this coating is you're not doing it in direct sunlight. That will kind of mess up the drying and curing process. You can end up with splotches on the surface. Josh is a fellow adrenaline sports junkie, that's for sure. You got your start doing downhill skateboarding, right? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much how I got into racing. Yeah. I was uh, doing it on a skateboard for a bunch of years. Now I have the time and money to do it in the car, which is great. When's the last time you did a downhill skateboard competition? The last one was beginning of this year up in uh, Santa Barbara there's uh, an event that uh, it's like a free ride event okay um, but we do some racing over there we definitely get rowdy um, That's cool. yeah it's a pretty fun one. and then uh, in a couple of weeks I'll be headed out to Colorado there's a race up in Georgetown up there uh, super fun it's the same type of stuff you'd want to go and drive in your car twisty mountain road we get the permit and block the whole thing off. That yeah, sounds fun. It's fun. And they used to run uh, Pikes Peak out there. Really? It was really cool. Yeah, I got to do Pikes Peak three years. Oh man, that Skate was down cool. It. Yeah, yeah, it was super. Skating cool. down that's got to be pretty gnarly. 
Yeah, that, that, that road already is, pretty gnarly. Yeah, that road is, uh, is on my hit list for that same reason. I, I just had never, uh, didn't think I'd ever really get the opportunity to do it and was so stoked the years that that one. All the Colorado races are good though. So once this is on, you gotta let it cure for 15 minutes, like I said. You'll see the surface haze up and then you can buff it off with a microfiber cloth. The longer you let it stay on, the better it works. Um, so by the time you work through four wheels, it's pretty much sat on there long enough. And by the time you start with the wheel you uh, coated first and you start buffing it off, the last wheel will have cured. Make sure you get all the crevices because that can be where brake dust will accumulate and a little bit of time now will save you time later cleaning your wheels. Um, and Josh is going over his wheels again actually and making sure he gets every single spot. I would encourage you to do the same thing. Ugh, I can't speak. Do do. Do do. Do do the same. Do the same. You do the same. You do the same. You know what I mean? <laughs> so as this product dries it'll turn hazy on the surface and that means that it's pretty much ready to be buffed off and this process can take a little bit of time but again it makes it all worth it and as you buff it off too it'll it'll continue to kind of rub it into the paint and that's why you also have to let it sit for 72 hours because this product has teflon in it the buffing process can be pretty quick and you'll feel the rag just start sliding right across the surface it's pretty darn cool Mm -hmm. This is when I started doing that. Really? Because I was like, oh man, white wheels, these things are never going to stay clean. Like, what can I do to make it better? Dude, my current ones are brown. Yeah. Hawk brake pads have chosen the color of my wheel. Yeah. <laughs> this will help. We got to get you off those Hawks. Uh, the CTSV kit that I got. Um, yeah, I'm yeah. going to go with some other stuff there. I'd say try the quarterfields, man. Yeah, I might. Those were a consideration. The other ones were the um, EBCs. Oh, don't do EBCs. No? No, not friends fair. don't let friends do that. Oh, really? They're not that good. EBCs are trash. They're, they're priced like they might be all right. But, yeah. But they're not dollar for what you get is not so good. Anyways. When's the last time you saw a pro car in an EBC? Oh, uh, never, but yeah. Exactly. Porter Field, yes. Uh -huh. And Hawk, yes. Yeah, exactly. Hawk makes great stuff. The thing with Hawk is the the rotor dust is corrosive. Oh, it is. Yeah, that's why it does that. It's just corrosive, and it, it has a high iron content, which is why it's brown because it's rusting. The, so the iron basically bonds to the wheel after you don't clean it, and then it uh, turns brown after a while because it's rusting. Dude, it's crazy. The stopping power has been great with those. That's their strong suit. Yeah, but. Uh... They are chewing rotors, <laughs> like, which is fine, but I feel like I could have gone through a set of rotors already, you know what I mean, yeah. to, to get them. Now they're like record players and they don't have the same stopping power that they used to, but once they're hot and they start really chewing, they're yep. right. Pretty characteristic of Hawk to not have bite when they're cold, and then they'll do exactly what you're describing. Yeah. And if you street drive them a lot, when they're cold, they chew the rotors faster. Well, they make everyone tell me I need new brakes. Yeah. Your car's You're, broken. You need new brakes. No, I don't. I definitely don't. Get but. yourself a set of DTC 60s and it shoots sparks. Really? Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was betting my brakes one time and some lady goes, your car's on fire. Yep. 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 That's what it, I wanted to do that. Yeah, but putting the coating on the barrel of the wheel is a uh, often overlooked spot because that's where a vast majority of the brake dust will actually build up. It gets all grody. You mean my hawk pad centrifuge? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> where, where I bond brake dust to the inside of my other wheels. Yep. See, I'm, I'm OCD. When I take my track wheels off the car, I have to line them up, I wash them before they even go back into storage, because that way, the next time I want to use them, they're, they're clean. Gross. And they're not gross, and it's I'm not getting gross. Too, when it's brand new and not been sitting on there. Exactly. Cooking on. Well, 
Josh? How do you feel? Dude, it was great. It was easy. It went pretty quick. Uh, even being handle about it. Yep. Make sure everything's all coded. Only took about an hour and a half to do all eight wheels. They all turned out great. And even though these are a semi matte finish, the a sealant didn't cause any issues with the surface. Uh, that's the only thing I didn't mention before that you should double check is always try it in a small spot first, wipe it off just to make sure it's not going to ruin your brand new wheel. That would be pretty bad. Yeah, maybe on the inside. Yeah, first. inside barrel's good. But that's it. Hour and a half of your time and your wheels will be infinitely easier to clean. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. The next week or two might be a little difficult. My office is moving, so I don't know if I'll have a video next week on the normal Tuesday upload, but every Thursday I will be keeping up the motorcycle uploads leading up to the track. So keep a lookout for those, and that's it. Until the next time, I'm Sean with The Driver's Perspective. Really simple, you pick up some, uh, what is this called? It's a really simple process. All you do is pick up a sealant or PTFE wax from a local automotive detail supply place Hi. and ah. Bob! <laughs> hey! Hey! Where are you? Well, you should have told me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bob, this no. is going into blooper reel. <laughs>